G'day and welcome to the start of a new Hearts of Iron 4 campaign. This time we're going to do something a little bit different. This campaign is only going to run for 24 episodes. We're going to uh, play as the German Reich. Uh, sure, let's have him play. Um, what we're going to do is become the true communists of the world. We'll uh, see if we can convert Soviet Union to fascist, but we're going to be converting to communists. I want to uh, see how that would actually shake things out. So we're going to start by boosting fascism in the Soviet Union. And when we get the chance, we'll grab, uh, what's his name, to do the thing. All right, research slots. Let's uh, still try and be powerful. So we'll do production and construction and research, speed and, uh, what do we usually go for? The sport equipment. All right, uh, civilian factories, military factories, dockyards. Um, let's see, what do you want to make? Great infantry equipment, sport equipment, Toad artillery, light tank two. We have another five. Let's go with them and with some fighters. All right, then we'll boost everything else after them. Um, fighters, Kaz, Tac. All right, and then we go through the usual stuff with the boats. Stick them all in the Kriegs Marina. And after we finish them, Go for the Untersee Boots. Do them forever. Alright, and um, civilian factories. I don't know, we want to do a naval thing? Probably not. So let's just go uh, military factories all the way. Alright, go for it, go for it, go for it. And as far as national focuses go, I think we usually do, I don't know, should we go west wall, just go down to the extra research slot? Or do you want to start doing a thing? No, that's fine. We'll go uh, Reich's Autobahn. I never worry about doing the um, demilitarize though. All right, and they will join the army with uh, von Kluger or Rundstedt? Let's just do Rundstedt. The Roughnecks. Oh. Okay. They'll be aggressive and... I'm going to stick them on the French line. Do you want to take Poland or do you want to take... Paris? Um, let's go to Poland. And we'll move yeah, all the way over. And do that when they get a chance. All right, insufficient resources. Uh, I guess we don't care too much. Um, what are we going to want to produce, though? Um, train some panzers. Train some regular infantry. Uh, knock them out in Brandenburg. Auto join the Roughnecks. And let's go 10 at a time for each. when possible. Alright, and last thing, while well, we can get the game started, I'll make this the Red Army, because they're going to become communists when they get a chance. Okay, let's go speed four. And, you know, should bring the fleets together. Um, just do a straight out merge. That's the three of them, and yeah, the Air Force. Bring the Luftwaffe to uh, Berlin. Damn it. And then. Alright. Bring them to Eastern Germany. That's still a Kriegsmarine. So they should be fine. Kriegsmarine. Alright, get rid of them. Alright, speed five. <laughs> yeah, that's all good. You know, we could just uh, run through the Baltic, <laughs> ignore Poland completely. Just kidding. I think we just want to take everything up to the Russian line. 
Alright, the uh, first thing we're going to grab is going to be... What is this dude's name? Never used him. Ernst Tellman. Because we want to be communists, and we want the communists to be fascists. There's a little bit. Get Stalin out, and who will we become? I don't know who the leader's going to be. Already at 20% though, so... Who's going to get there first? Not Poland. Pretty sure we will. Alright, the Reich's Autobahn. <clears throat> Make way for the Westwald. I do want to dismantle the faction. We do. We don't need no Axis. And what's to do with the planes? They didn't... Ah, of course. Idiot. Alright, Spanish Civil War. It's uh, about normal time. They're supposed to be all actually going there. And mechanical engineering. We'll go get the extra speed. So we're nearly ready for our communist. Um, we'll go for internal support. Let's see if the uh, anti-Hitler crew want to get a communist in there instead. Like how close in colour Sweden and France are. Oh, France. Big blue. There's our west wall. Keep a close eye on them. Alright. Um, yeah, we'll push through to the research slot, I think. Get us some nukes. And so they got the first slot. So, 36. Any special forces? No. Sort of towns? No. Armoured? Um, we have to wait for the thing. Artillery. <clears throat> Let's improve them. And we're going to go concentrated. Da -da 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 -da. Hey, hey. <laughs> Party leader, Wilhelm Pleck. Alright, it's so not Adenauer, not Hitler. <clears throat> go for the guy that nobody ever plays with. As Germany. And you know, who's the fascist in the Soviet Union? So we don't get to find out. No. Alright, they're up to 11. We're up to, what, 23? Class conflicts divide us. Well, it's going to happen a lot faster then, isn't it? So I'm curious, because I've never actually tried it. When we become communist, do we still keep boosting fascism in the Soviet Union? And there was construction, it's uh, 36. Do you want to do this? No, let's go for radio. <clears throat> Alright, industrial effort. I get through the next one. I mean, we can take over Austria and uh, Czechoslovakia whenever we want, so there's no rush to do them early in the game. <clears throat> Apparently Poland's realised we're up to something. Always leave Osprosten alone when we do this. So much easier to just overrun them from one side. And let me see. You've got about the same size army as us at the start. It's um, a little weird. A bit of an infra infantry equipment shortage. We do have them coming out though. Alright, modified government. We want... Bormann, and then the next one will go for Hess. Won't take his famous flight. I wonder if he still does that if you never go to war with the UK. Mm -hmm. Alright, um, where are we at? 41. <coughs> 2. 
You know, they're going to do the purge. I wonder if they can do the purge when they're fascist. Democrats are dropping. This is coming along nicely. Alright, Italian war's over, and industrial life it's done. So, we need air innovations. Don't we get to choose which of these we go for? Um, requires one of them. Do you want to do treaty? Well, we need a uh, land doctrine, so let's, uh, yeah, we'll go this way. Take a treaty with the USSR. And the artillery is nearly done. Für Deutschland zu sterben is good. Uh, 36. We're going to look at the planes. It's a 40 tech. We can do heavy fighters. Um, no. Naval. I don't think we're going to bother. No. You go for a carrier. The Flugzeug Dampfer. Um, anti tank. Maybe. Nah, yeah, it's all going to rely on getting that other thing. Alright, um. Resource gain efficiency, half price. Now we're going to need this. Let's just do this now. It's close enough to 37. And we're looking good. Got the resources we need, barely. They'll be coming in fast enough at least. Okay, <clears throat> so we're up to 50. And just never sorted out the planes. Alright, let's go merge the fighters. Merge all the bombers. Transports, close air support, attack bombers. Um, bring them up to a thousand. Bring them up to a thousand. Transports. You know what, we're not going to need transports at all. Let's get rid of them. Close air support will want a thousand. And the naval bombers will want a thousand. Class conflicts divide Germany. Changing communist. Far out. It's actually surprisingly fast. And we're going to turn on all the things. But then the naval bombers will go sit in Pommen. Tactical bombers, we go sit down there. Uh, everyone will go to Western Poland, except naval bombers go to the Baltic. Alright, and modification of government. We wanted Hess. And New Zealand, research. We've got three to do. It's practically 37 already. Um, so yeah. Start pushing through production, and it's a bit early for this. A whole year ahead of time. Um, no, did we finish? No, still takes too long. Thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-nine artillery, anti-tanks. No. Um, air, where air doctrine? No. All right, we'll just go for little detection. And we are very communist. So, let's go ahead and get our treaty with the USSR. Right, and yeah, we should start justifying the war goal on Poland, I guess. So, Kungfai for... Need 12 more. We want to take Danzig. <coughs> Communists demand the referendum. Politics will change. All right. Goodbye, Hitler. The uh, Socialist Republic of Germany. We just need five more. Let's get that kind of soon. Ah, need one more. So we can start on the 1st of January. Alright. Go for Danzig. And Wilhelm Peak, Stalin's puppet. Still a bit of loser. He's General Stalin. Exiled, you say. And the question is, are we still boosting fascism. We are. Cool. So they might still be able to flip them. Alright, 59. 
Cool. So we lose the uh, Hitler bonus. But we've got Borman and Hess now. Missing equipment reduction, naval bombers. That's uh, okay. Alright, and. Are we the People's Republic? No, the Socialist Republic of Germany. Um, could uh, go further ahead of time. I don't see the point yet. Uh, 37. I think it's okay to do that. Now. Sixty-one. How many does he have now? Thirty something, probably. All right, do a nice little blitz. Tension's only two percent because Germany is playing nice. And there's our treaty with the USSR. Hey comrades, we're all friendly here. And they accept. Why wouldn't they? So we're going to go for the Panzerkampfwagen Drei. Um, yep, eventually. After radio, I guess. And when's the other one? Uh, yeah, about the same time. So we do the radio. After radio, we'll do the uh, Pentagon Fagans. And we'll do the Land Doctrine. So air innovations, we still have to do rocketry before we can get down to the uh, research slot. Push through Fundawaffa after we've started the first one, I think. Which was only one bonus, wasn't it? Yep, yeah. okay. Your liberation is near. <clears throat> we shall liberate the Poles in the end of 37. <clears throat> Probably take them over before the end of 37. Uh, yeah, I'd say so. I still don't have many men on the line. One thick. Don't want to keep guys on the other border. <clears throat> Alright, and the modification. Um, we'll wait till we're at war. And we'll go for war economy. Gonna need the tension. Yeah, we'll just save it up. Looking for September. And good timing. So the tanks. Panzer threes. Get them done. Wait another day. And we're gonna do the land doctrine. Push down mobile warfare. Oh, the humanity! Alright, get us some rocketry. And... Poland's not aligned. Poor bastard. Went down to 1%. Mm -hmm. That's what I was going to look at. These guys coming out pretty soon. 4th of June, I'll be ready before the war. Now, the problem with the tanks would be the tanks, I dare say. Yep. What kind of a shortage do we have? 2,000. That's a couple of years. Should have really boosted the production. Where are we looking? This one. Actually, what is our shortage? So, 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 need tungsten, need oil. Oil and rubber. Nah, screw it. Alright, industry. It's still 37. Don't want to waste one of the things. Yeah, you know just do the repairs so we can knock out the um, other stuff. And 200 convoys. Shouldn't really need more. We're going to uh, stick close together. Alright, uh, he's up to 25. And Edhart, didn't I? He's working on the purge. See if we can purge himself 
put us or put our guys in charge. All right, rocketry is done. So let's go for the extra research slot. Be the earliest we could possibly make it there. Ah, uh, here we go. Let's start increasing tension. Take a look at the Germans. Lots of Germans. The Japanese. And then Kukuo. He is thoroughly fascist. So we start boosting communism in Japan. Yeah, why not? Convert the fascists. Uh, you can change military high command and all the rest. Not yet. Alright, we will rally behind the scores a month from now. And we do have everybody in Western Poland. Yep. Doing all the good stuff. Getting more planes in there as well. <laughs> Stalin's puppet. We'll screw Stalin. Twenty eighth, 29th, 30th. Alright, September. So, I'm going to take a short break here. When we come back, we will begin our march eastwards. But, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy it. Let me know what you think in the comments. And I hope to see you again soon. See you later.